Hey G fans, it's Asa Zoe here. Welcome back to another review. And in today's review, we're going to be reviewing the New York Comic Con Bandai Creation Godzilla 2014. <clears throat> oh boy, this one, this one I really wanted to have for a long time. So anyways, so this is the box. Here's the front. Nice promotional image of Godzilla. And yes, I do know that this was, this came out in 2014. I'm not stupid. Okay. But yeah. This is another figure I wanted to get for, for a long time. S probably since I started collecting. I don't know. Even though. But yeah, here's the front. The side. The back. The Velcro. Even though it's kind of the front. I'm just calling this the front. Even though it's the back. Anyways, the other side. Nice shows Godzilla and with Godzilla. Here's the top that says Godzilla and the uh, bottom. And technically, this is the front. I don't care. This is Velcro, and here is what the figure will come in. Oh, jeez. So you get like a cute, cool um, background. I think this is what that one poster that scared me as a kid. But yes, I think it's, I think the, this area, this is like that poster that scared, again, that scared me as a kid. But yes, the figure will be in there once, well, when you get, when, if you guys ever find one. Even though they're like expensive out there, but yes. So we put that off to the side, and here is the figure. So this is the New York Comic Con Godzilla 2014 Bandai Creation Exclusive figure. That's a mouthful. Sheesh. So this is technically a repaint of the Bandai Create the standard Bandai Creation figure, which I reviewed a long time ago, way back. But there's not very really enough to really go over this guy, but besides the, there are some there are some differences between the Bandai creation and this one, and I'll explain why. But pretty much everything is the same except for the paint. Pretty much everything's the same except for there's like you can probably see. Let me get the Bandai creation to show you guys. So here's the stand, the normal Bandai creation 2014. And here is the New York Comic Con, the exclusive. So, same figure, but the but this guy is a little bit darker, especially on his, especially his stomach, especially his tummy is a different color, shade, and his obviously his spikes are painted. What should I say? Yeah, painted. To make it look like he shouldn't have a target breath. Also, between this one, you see how there's nothing. This is his. Um. There's no blue inside his. In, in this one. But this one has the blue paint. Blue inside of his mouth. Looks like he's about to shoot his atomic breath. Just like in the movie. But, yeah. Pretty much, as I just said, the, the, this, they're pretty much the same. But, the only thing difference between this one is the spikes being painted and the, the front of him has a different shade. I think that's like a darkish, grayish color. And pretty much everything else is the same. Oh wait, even his mouth has the blue in his mouth. So again, not a lot to go over for this one. But I'm going to pair them. Because I always forget, I always forget these. So they're pretty much the same, pretty much the same size. Yeah, so that's what those two look like, like together. And I move him down there. And I'm also going to get the San Diego, I think that's the San Diego, the San Diego Comic Con Godzilla Final Wars. And... I have, I'm glad, I actually, I am glad to have these, both of these, because these guys are very hard to find, 
And I got a... I think I gave my old one to a friend of mine. My older version of this guy. I got a new one because I gave... Again, as I said, I gave that one to a friend of mine. I wonder if they still have it. I'll have to ask him. Him, her, I don't know even now. But either way. So here are these two together. So I did review this guy already a long time ago. Just like how I reviewed this guy already a long time ago when I was still not doing as when I was still being an idiot back then. But either way. Okay, so what these two will look like together. Man, I just I always love how I like how I like how we get repaints like this. I I get it. I know it's a, I know you guys don't like repaints, especially with versus mod shirts. And a little bit with higher toys a little bit. But and the reason why I like repaints, don't ask why, okay? As I for example, is like I like how they how whether it's SH, SH Mon Shots, Higher Toys, X Plus, wait, I don't, maybe X Plus, or even Bandai's, I like how they repaint the figures to, like for example, these spikes are, well, the spikes being blue, like being cut, painted, and, and whatnot, so. And the last thing I got is just gonna. The last figure I'm just gonna compare is. Rage Goji. Yep. That band, I'm, I think. Yeah. I can, I definitely need to. Definitely need to get the, um. The newer Bandai Movie Monster Series one, so, uh, so I can repaint him. Well, repaint that one. Hopefully, I ever get find him. But yes, so. Mm. Yes, small. These guys of this this guy is small. Again, this is Bandai Movie Monsters, and this is Bandai Creation. So I'm just gonna put him over there, and that would do it. Oops. And that will pretty much be it for today's review. I kind of put this off a little while, but yes. So that's the review. I am very happy to have this guy. To have this guy. Definitely worth the. Definitely worth the. One your wait to find, find this guy because again, this this guy this figure, can go way up. I've seen prices up for this figure, but for this guy, and let's just say the prices suck. But yes, um, again, I'm glad to have these guys. We'll have them. Actually, as I might have said, I'm actually glad to have all of these guys because some of these figures were pretty much hard to find, and some of these guys I had earned and had to wait for. Ghidorah, I had to wait for you. Had to wait for Ghidorah for so long, and along with other ones. But either way, that's it for the review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Stay big, G-Fans.